everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video because I'm working with EDF on their Pretty Curious campaign. Now what is the Pretty Curious campaign? You might be pretty curious to find out. <laughs> I make myself laugh. So this campaign aims to address the fact that there's not many women and young girls going into STEM subjects and by STEM I mean like science, technology, engineering and math subjects. Um, whoa. I don't know what that was. So many girls feel like the STEM area of study is not for them and that is why there's a huge gender gap in the amount of people working in the STEM subjects. It's something stupid like over 700,000 the gap is, like, that's crazy. I think it's down to the fact that many people, especially girls, don't take sciences after GCSE, which means that literally 20% of the workforce are women, is women, are women, is women. Oh my gosh. I do two languages, I should know this. But science tends to be a subject that um, a lot of girls drop like after GCSE and EDF really wants to work with creators like me to try and get more people into science subjects. I personally don't take any sciences for A-level but I do kind of regret that decision. I really, I was going to be taking physics um, and then I kind of didn't because I felt like oh you know not really um, a science you know, I just don't think people would associate me with science and stuff and I was more worried about what other people would think about me taking physics rather than whether I would have actually enjoyed it, which I feel like I would have. Physics is actually one of the smallest A-level groups at our school, which I think says a lot because I go to an all-girls school about the attitude that women have towards science. I want to use this platform to spread awareness about things that need to be changed and what needs to be changed is that more women need to be like, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a scientist, I want to be a research scientist, I want to do all of these technological jobs because I want to, not because I think other people will think that I look stupid for doing it. So this year we're fast forwarding to 2023 which is when people in sort of year 8 and 9 will be going to university and into further study at university or in apprenticeships or anywhere like that. And EDF have created a virtual reality film to show sort of what the opportunities will be. And also they've like taken the stories of three women who have taken STEM and made it their own and become extremely influential figures within the field of STEM. In fact, by the time you are at university, there will be nearly 650,000 new jobs. Just let that sink in, 650,000 jobs. And the fields which are most important here are computing services, architecture, specialist construction and construction. And actually, I can relate to this. There is one girl in our year that wants to be an architect, one. Like. We had a careers thing the other day. Like, there wasn't even a section for architecture, people. That is just annoying. So that's why they've done this film, and there are three women that work in the most in-demand areas of STEM, so you can see what your life could be like if you went into that field. So I have been sent a parcel by EDF, and basically, I don't have a clue what's in here, so we're going to have a look. Oh. So it says, the Pretty Curious campaign aims to show you the amazing opportunities there are when you keep studying STEM subjects at school. If you are pretty curious about the world around you, ah, oh, see, they got the joke. They got the joke too, guys. It's not just me. They they got the, they got the joke. <laughs> Immerse yourself in our 3D, 3D, not 3D. What's the other one? 360 virtual reality film and let three amazing women take you on an incredible journey into their STEM related. Load up the film, slot your phone into the cardboard viewer and explore. Oh my gosh, okay. So wait, so my phone goes in this. That's what the thing on the YouTube's for. That makes so much sense. Enable sound on your phone, insert, okay, right. So I actually have to follow these instructions. <laughs> I'm not very good at instruction following, I will tell you that now. Oh my, no, I'm gonna break this. I'm actually gonna break this, I don't want to. Okay, so, I need to pull this, that, that way, that, that, that way, this way. Is that, oh, there's Velcro, okay. I think I've got this, I think I know what I'm doing. Like that, and then the phone needs to go, 
I don't get where the phone goes. And I'm being a bit slow here, and I feel like my phone's not gonna fit. Wait, so my okay, it goes like this, and then you do that. I haven't so got this, okay. What the hell? Oh my god, what? No. I'm literally in their houses. I can reach out and touch things. Oh, what? There's a title. Fascinated with whales and dolphins and what goes on under the sea, but I never thought it would leave me here. This is amazing. Oh my god, I can see the top of the shop. Ah, I'm in London. I was just saying how much I miss London. Oh my god, we're falling. This is amazing. I feel like this is literally the most lit thing I've ever done. Oh my god, I'm in the shop. I've been here. Ah, that's so true. So many jobs like aren't even a thing yet. That's what's scary. This is literally the best thing I've ever watched. They are. Imagine. St oh my god, that would be so cool. Oh. Well, that literally blew my socks off. Just for starters, you literally, you are like in a place. Like you're in the. That's so cool. And it made some very important points. Since I take English literature, which I feel like I should, you know, it's not exactly STEM, but it has given me the skill of summary, mainly the idea that it doesn't have to be what everyone assumes it's going to be, like sitting and doing maths all day. Like, these people are building buildings, making Snapchat fil- like the Snapchat filters, you would not be able to have your Snapchat filters if it wasn't for- amazing women that knew how to code like you wouldn't know and climate change you may think that that is all boring evidently not she literally is underwater doing engineer engineering underwater like you might not have career choice right now so if there is any doubt within your mind as to what you want to do stem is the way to go because i'm not joking there are so many jobs in that sector, and most of which are not even a thing yet. Like, I'm not even joking, my friend Charlotte, she wants to study, she wanted to do music, but she also likes physics, and she's found a degree where she can study the physics of music, and one day she could become a designer of, like, conservatoires, or what, what are they called, the big things? Those big music buildings. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> the, and like the acoustics of the music and the physics of the design to make the sound like optimal. Like, it's just, you don't even have to go straight into STEM. You could combine subjects that you like. Like, you could literally do, so many of my friends do like biology, chemistry, history. Like you can, the possibilities are quite literally endless because I feel like there are there's a lot more that goes behind STEM than just sitting doing math. And I feel like a lot of people have got image of like being in a lab coat all day and like doing but there's so much more to stem and if you'd have told me five years ago that i could sit and watch something through a piece of cardboard i would not have believed you like this is literally ridiculous like it was like i was on the roof of the shard and also on the website there's an avatar maker so you take a quiz to like predict out your future and it says build your future me so this is my future me avatar that I did um, but it's so cool like you can literally see yourself in a stem role and so here I'm an app developer and then you can share your avatar um, on the pretty curious feed either on Instagram or Facebook or on your profile so what I want everyone to do is go on the EDF website which I will link below of course make your avatar and send it to me on Twitter because I really want to see all of your avatars and see what you want to be in like 10 years time so i'm going to put the link to the edf website here because there is literally so much on the website to talk about and discover and i am so excited about this campaign because i am so in agreement with edf that more people need to just go into stem subjects and realize that stem does not mean male like it can mean any gender just go for it don't let stereotypical expectations of what you should be when you're older hold you back there are so many people i think because we go to an all-girls school in my year that don't care what people think they want to be an engineer go for it like there's no 
at my school I feel pressure to do a certain thing whereas I can imagine in uh, mixed schools perhaps there is that more of a sort of distinction between the different types of careers that people can go into but I'm so excited to be working with EDF on this because the possibilities really are endless and there are so many capable young women out there that are pretty curious, I just like, I just like using this as a pun to be honest, about the world and think about it, how many jobs there are going to be available for you and how much you are going to be able to benefit this planet, like whether it be through climate change, Snapchat, that is a benefit to the planet. Um, <laughs> engineering, research science, there's just so much to do and it's so important in this day and age for people to just explore their own interests rather than t having their interests dictated to them. You could be a research scientist, you could be a marine biologist, engineer, climate change, creator, developer, coder, person. You don't need people to tell you what you cannot and cannot do. There is not a single woman on this planet that is not capable of becoming what they want to become. I just really want to drive the message across that EDF is trying to open as many doors as possible for apprenticeships, university study, master's qualifications. It's all on your doorstep and I hope that this video has kind of enlightened you about that. So be sure to visit EDF if you're interested. I'm really excited that EDF have put this website together to show you how much there is available. So that is it for this video. Since this is quite an educational video, I'm going to kind of give um, myself the opportunity to plug my revision channel. That's going to be my main priority between now and exams rather than my main channel. So definitely head on over to my revision channel, which I will link down below, um, because I'm going to have loads of videos on how to revise for science and maths and things like that. Um, and every, all the subjects, I'm just going to do lots of revision videos because it's coming up to exam season now and I understand that people want more of those uh, and I will see you very very soon, be sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in your next video, bye! Mwah.